Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today I'm going to do my year of art review. If you haven't met me before, I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist and I have a really squeaky chair. So I've got this weird little setup here because, hi, I want to basically film a year review of my art, which is what it says on the tin, right? As you can see, I've got a little camera down here as well. And I'm gonna try and do this thing that professional YouTubers do when they have two cameras, and we'll see how that turns out because we all know I'm not a professional YouTuber. I am a hobbyist and I do this for fun. So that's it. I put my art into three categories over the year. So just like loose pieces that I've done for videos and stuff. Then my sketchbooks, which two are completed and this one is sort of completed. So I don't really know what I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you my favorite pieces through the year and then maybe flick through stuff. And the third is special projects that I've done throughout the year. Let's start with the loose ones, shall we? Do you guys mind? I'm trying to film a video. This video is really awkward, isn't it? Standard. And I haven't really put them in order of anything, so I'm just gonna flick through them. This was for my Kickstarter. I just did some sketches and stuff, and then I never used this thing because I didn't like how it looked on the computer. It didn't turn out very nice. So I, I don't know why I'm showing this. Really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. This was for my Frida Kahlo video where I recreated one of her pieces. Again, most of these things that I'm gonna show you now, they are videos, so go check them out if you like the look of the pieces and haven't seen the video. I don't I don't know how this works. Maybe you maybe you click away now. I don't I don't I don't know. Yeah, so I don't why am I showing that camera? Dumb. And yeah, I really like this piece. It turned out swell and I want to frame it, I think. As you can see in the background, I framed one of my pieces and Gigi and Kubo seem to be going a bit crazy. Do you guys mind? You kind of ruined the video here. Anyway, um yeah, this was <sighs> There's some crud on this one. You can see I store my art, my art well. This was a view of a street because we went and did this art competition where you have to paint within an area of Gibraltar for the Heritage Trust in Gibraltar. So we did this competition. I didn't win, but it was a really fun experience. Again, video. This was for my 100 page challenge. This was more early on in the year, I think. And my 100 page challenge, I did, what is this, fangirl? And it's a story about this girl who writes fan fiction, huh? Um, about Harry Potter, but it's not Harry Potter, it's different, but it's Harry Potter. And yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, I don't know how you'd describe it, I guess. Yeah, romance, young adult romance. Do you mind? Young adult romance, so I did that. This was for my, collaboration with Color Holtz Creations and we did a 100 page challenge there as well and I did we did Harry Potter and I did the first book and she did the last book so 100 page challenge if you don't know there's a few videos um, on my channel and you pick to page 100 and you basically get a prompt from the pages or you draw an illustration of what the page is saying that's a good exercise for people who want to be illustrators as well I think because it really puts you in a tough spot um, yeah, so that was that. I really like the way that turned out. These ones go together because these were my slime girls. So I drew an illustration. I took some slime and I was inspired by slime. Um, it was fun because I just wanted to play with slime, really. So these are my slime girls and there's a whole story about them. If you like them, go check out that video. And then I drew them again, this time with coffee. So I did the coffee challenge and it was, yeah, that was fun. I just used pencil and coffee. I'm not sure if you're allowed to use pencil actually, but whatever. Actually, this is from last year. Take that away. This was like something from the very beginning of the year. I think this was for a Casey Golden prompt that I joined in on. I can't remember what the prompt was, but I decided to draw. Do you mind? Sorry. I keep move, probably moving the frame, but that's because I keep having to get up to stop my cats from fighting. Um, this was for a Casey Golden prompt, and I can't remember what the prompt was, but this was kind of the beginning of the year, and I think it was maybe Tower and Sandheimer. I can't remember. This was something I did at the end of the year. This was kind of inspired by another artist who, they did like a veil over somebody, and I was like, I want to try that technique, and it's scary because I had just watched um, Haunting of Hill House and I was in a very spooky mood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was for my Gustav Klimt video where I repaint one of the works in my style. Basically what I do is I go and do a piece of their work in my own style. It was kind of a play on the draw this in your style challenge 
where I also learn a little bit about the artist and hope to teach people a little bit about the artist. This was my second paper cutout, so let's go to the first one I did. So this was my paper cutout art, and I don't know why I did this, but I just wanted to experiment with doing something really different. And I really like making art, which is tactile and something you can hold in your hands and sort of, I don't know, create with your hands, if that makes sense. That's why I did this, and it was really fun at the time. And then I went and I did um, an underwater one, which has kind of fallen apart, but I will fix it, so you can't really see it very well, but if you want to see the video of how I made these, again, they are videos. And next, I think we'll move on to, we'll move on to the special projects that I did this year. This was for a video again, but I just filled a sketchbook in a day, which was super hard work. Some of these have gone because they've gone to my patrons, and some of them are still here. And it was quite surprising, the ones that some people picked, because I let my patrons first come, first sub pick ones that they liked, and the ones that I didn't really like very much, people picked, so I was like quite surprised. And the ones that I really liked haven't gone, so yeah, these are them. And there's a few missing, obviously, because they went to patrons. This was one of my favorites, and it didn't go. And hands, and yeah. So if you want to watch that video of the actual struggle that was doing that, then go ahead and look over there. I think we'll start with my comics. I do a slice of life comic, which I haven't done for a while, sadly, because I started a new job and I sort of put it on the back burner when I tried to do my horror comic and more YouTube stuff. So I did slice of life comics. Um, I would do one every day, every weekday. So I do one a day of these and I'd put it up on my Patreon and people could read them. You can't really see them, but if you want to look at them, then I'm going to be posting them on my Instagram um, more because I just posted a lot of them on Patreon but now I'm going to start putting them up on Instagram so you can probably see them there if you're not following me on Instagram then go check that out. Loads of comics, um, I did that and then I created this little comic. I made this for a comic con that I did in Gibraltar. Quite annoyingly made because I didn't have time to get it professionally printed so I had to kind of... Oh, why is it not focusing? Hello? I had to kind of get it printed myself. So I didn't understand sizing. I had a lot of test prints to do. And I was thinking what I'm gonna do is do like a little giveaway here. If you want to find out how to get this and some other stuff, then find out at the end of this um, video. So those are my comics, my slice of life comics. And also underneath is another thing I did for a video, which was I did mermaid, but in a day. These are all the mermaids that I drew in a day and that was quite painful as well, but enjoyable too. So I feel like that's my whole year review is like, if you want to see that video, it's like, no. And so I did this for my friend's Kickstarter. She did a Kickstarter of her comic Overlord, which was successfully funded and all the rewards are coming out now. And this was one of the rewards, which was a print of her character. Next up is something that I'm super proud of that happened to me this year, which gave me the little boost I needed of confidence, I guess, with doing comics because I had my ongoing comic that I did for about a year and a half and it never really got like that much traction or anything like that. But obviously I was doing it because I enjoyed it, but sometimes you need, you can't just do stuff because you enjoy it. You need a little bit of um, feedback or, good feedback to keep you going, you know what I mean? So this comic was something that really helped my self-esteem with my art and stuff. I know it sounds really silly because people are gonna be like, oh, you have a YouTube channel with lots of subscribers. Like obviously people like your stuff to some degree, right? This was a really good boost for me and it made me realize that I can make comics and I can do them. Obviously now I've got my full-time job, so it's kind of hard to do the level of work that I was doing this whole year, but I'm hoping to try and keep up stuff. It's been a bit of a an up and down for me over the last few months because it's just made me realize that how I need to prioritize my work outside of my nine to five job. So this was my Emily is Burning comic. And if you haven't seen this, I made this comic and I did loads of vlogs about it as well, which did quite well. Like people seem to react well to it and found it interesting. This was the print for the comic. I did a paper cutout art piece. So this was my big thing and I'll just show you some of the actual, the actual rough and final pages and then how I took that to print. So here are some of the pages. This is how I organized it. So 
I did the script and I put it in here. I think loads of people have already seen all this stuff because we've already discussed it all and I've done live streams about it and I've done videos about it and I've done how to. So if you want to see those, there's a whole thing of vlogs on how I did this project and how it came to be. But here are some of the final pages. In the end, I didn't hand write everything, I just wrote them on the computer. Um, but yeah, these are some of the pages. I did them um, hand drawn and then hand coloured and then I scanned them all in. Those are my comic pages and this was the final thing. I got this printed with mix and printing and the cover is a lush matte so it feels very nice and smooth. I really liked it and it came out good. Um, I did the insert pages as well, which I really liked. So everything about this project was a real confidence boost for me, not only because people liked it, but because I liked it and I managed to complete something that was not ongoing and it was a short project and I've never done, I've never done a short project before like this or a short story, I guess, which I think is sometimes harder than doing a massive project because you have to tell yourself, this is enough, stop, this is good enough, you know? So yeah, that's my final big project of the year. I'm gonna go through my sketchbooks quickly because I know I've already done sketchbook tours and maybe this is a bit repetitive to some people, but I just like it. It's really interesting to go through everything and see what I've done throughout the year because it's been such a quick year for me, but actually it looks like I've done so much and that is a really nice pat on my back if that makes sense without being annoyingly self-confident there. So yeah, these are some of my sketches. I did this, filled this sketchbook up in the beginning of the year. If you want a more in-depth view of this, then go check out the sketchbook tour of this one. This is probably the first sketchbook tour and yeah, I completed this and I remember this um, was the jumping off point to my horror comic because I started at the end of this, I started drawing little houses and I really liked, I really liked the way that those turned out. So I decided that I wanted to do something about a haunted house or something involving that and it was, you know, it was really fun. So that was my first sketchbook of the year and then I did this one and I really like these sketchbooks they actually came from mm, Lidl I always say that wrong people tell me it's Lidl or whatever yeah so this was beginning of my horror comic so this sketchbook pretty much took up a lot of the concept stuff for Emily is burning um, just doodling and experimenting which was something I hadn't done really so that was really the best not the best part but one of the best parts about it. it really got me going and inspired and pumped to do this project because it was like oh you know um, you've been working on something that's very similar style for a year so it's good to go ahead and do something completely different which is what I did and I, I, I thoroughly suggest people to do that if you're a bit stuck in a rut or anything to just go ahead and do something completely different. I also managed to um, publish my own book this year as well, Princess Curse. So the next two books for that are hopefully gonna come out this year because I'm trying to rein myself in and do these goals that I've said to myself to do. Yeah, I think what I've done is I've just written down all the goals that I wanna achieve in 2019. And even if I don't achieve them, it kind of gives me like points of progress that I need to hit and I definitely want to do another comic this year and I definitely want to you know ramp it up a little bit even though I'm working even though it's going to be harder I need to just grin and bear it kind of thing so yeah this is the other sketchbook that I did this year and I really liked this one as well it's really good to see my progress and to see that I've sat down and done work it's satisfying to have a collection of these works this sketchbook isn't finished, but it's got all my Inktober stuff in it. So if you want to see my Inktober video, I didn't finish Inktober, but I got halfway through. And then that was when I was applying for jobs and I was really stressed out because I had interviews and I just hated doing interviews. And then I got like two job offers that week and I was just overwhelmed like I didn't know what to do but now I'm a graphic designer for a company and it's really really nice and it's good to work in teams again and yeah so I don't know what that whole tangent was but I didn't finish Inktober because I was getting a job so yeah sorry about that super tangent this is my sketchbook that is not finished um, and I'll do a proper sketchbook tour by the time that that is done but totally not finished so we can see that later time. So that's my 2018 art year review and I think I accomplished a lot and I'm pretty proud of where I've 
been to where I've come. So the beginning of the year I had 100 subscribers and I thought what the heck I was so impressed with myself and so proud of that which is funny because now I'm nearing 10,000 subscribers and it sort of feels the same it's weird it's like I was so happy to get 100 now I'm so gonna be so happy to get 10,000 but I feel like I've made a lot of connections with people through doing YouTube and that's a really important thing for me. I feel like I've inspired people and people have inspired me. So all in all, it's been great for my personal growth and I hope to continue doing weekly vlogs or videos, art videos as often as possible next year. And I hope you guys stick along for the ride. So that's it for me. I hope you had a great holiday season and I hope you have a great new year. And I hope that everyone is happy and healthy and doing well. And I will see you next time, guys. Oh, also, if you want to win a copy of this comic, this comic, um, some prints and stuff, then comment down below what your favourite thing that I've done this year is. And you'll be entered into the draw and I will reveal the winner on the next video. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.